the water, Barakatha, Kahalayimla, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawashai, Bahasham Chakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalawam salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly, and Shalawam unto the Aqua, which is the women believers, Shalawam unto you. And as you see, it's a beautiful time to be alive, man. I'm talking about the ones who really believe in the truth, the ones who's actually looking for salvation, the ones who's actually looking for this place to be destroyed, the ones who's actually looking forward to all the prophecies coming to pass. It's a beautiful time to be alive, especially if you are in your right mind. You got the truth and you fervent and you believe in this thing and you ain't doing this with any other intentions, but that you really believe and you love the Lord and you want to get out of here. So, you know, you got a lot of people who gets upset that this topic is so talked about a lot. But this is the time that we are in. Why would we talk about anything else? This is the most important prophecy in all the scriptures, because with this, everything else is a domino effect. World War Three is going to happen after this. Because World War Three is synonymous with this because those who take the MOTB, they're going to get that fire, which is the nations shooting fire on this place by their missiles. That is the second death, as the scripture says. So. It said Fed now the Federal Reserve alternative to blockchain and CBDCs will launch in July. Come on now. See. Over all the articles that the men of the Lord been reading for years, they always was talking about it's a possibility. Now they're now they put in the date on it. You know what I'm saying? They always was hinting towards it because we already know that it's going to come to pass because it's in the scriptures. But they was always hinting on it. They say something here and there. Now they're putting a day on it. They put in a month on it. All right. So I'm going to read a few paragraphs and then get a couple of scriptures. It shouldn't be too long. So it says, Kitco News, the Federal Reserve has officially announced that the launch of its FedNow service will take place in July following the formal cer certification of participants for the service, which is scheduled to begin the first week of April, which is coming up two weeks from now. Right. And you see how I said participants, because. The way that they lure people in, they do things little by little for they never be seen their actual uh, objective or what they're trying to bring forth. So they always do things little by little. They, they going to give you the illusion that you can participate. And guess what? Now, of course, if everybody just said, hell yeah, they wouldn't have to force it. But they're going to force it because you're going to have some imbeciles, you know, uh, people who. You know, they just slayed it. They, they just slayed it for the sword. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures talks about the elect have obtained and the rest were blinded. The nations don't have no part of salvation, so they're going to take it anyway. But the point is, is that you got people who are going to take the shit willingly, but most people are going to buck up. So right now it's a participation thing, which is going to get the people to be like, oh, this ain't this ain't really nothing. This is something that you could participate in. So it began the first week of April. Fed now was de developed in an effort to create a platform capable of providing instant payment services to financial institutions nationwide. And this is a thing, too. This is why I said I think I'm going to title this video. He, uh, this video, he causeth and deceiveth because right now this is a deceiving part because he's getting you with conveniency. You know, he he's presenting it in a um in a positive light that this is good for you. You know, this is the hot thing in the streets right now. You need to jump on board. This is the way that they're going to present it. And the people, especially Babylonians talk about Americans, Egyptians, you know, they love conveniency. So it said 24, seven, participation by financial institutions enables business and individuals to send and receive instant payments at any time of the day, giving recipients full access to funds immediately, allowing for greater flexibility in money management. Early adopters will be required to complete a customer testing and certification program that was developed from the feedback 
received during the FedNow pilot program. The certification process will help prepare participants to begin sending live transactions through the system. All right. And then, get, and then nobody ain't asking who's control of this system, you know? Because when you go to it, it said a blockchain, the blockchain is interconnected systems. Who is running those interconnected systems? So. And it said the certification process includes a comprehensive testing curriculum with defined expectations for operational readiness and network experience announcement said, see, and then everything is going to be on the network. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, they want you, all right? They want you on a network. Talk about your soul, your everything, because that's what they're saying that the technology can do. See, you see how they ain't talking about putting it inside of you right now. They just basically just putting the infrastructure in place, which is going to rock people to sleep. So you might have something, you know, it might just be a banking thing to start off. Then it might just be like a little bracelet around your wrist or something. And then it's going to come to, yeah, it got to be inside you. So that's how they're going to rock people to sleep and make people feel like it ain't a bad thing. That's the deceiving part. So it says in June, prior to the official launch of Fed now, the Federal Reserve and all certificate participants will conduct production validation activities to confirm their readiness for the July launch. We couldn't be more excited about the forthcoming Fed now launch, which will enable every participating financial institution, the smallest to the largest, he calls of all, and from all corners of the country to offer a moderate instant payment solution, said Ken Montgomery, first vice president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston. Look at that. That's where I'm at. And Fed now program executive with the launch with the launch drawing near, we urge financial institutions and their in in uh, industry partners to move full steam ahead with the part preparations to join the Fed now service. So look, man, the Lord is hastening the time. And the Lord said, when you see these things, know that your salvation draw up now. Matter of fact, let me start off with that. I was going to start off with Revelation. Like I said, I don't want this video to be too long. We already know what the deal is, but it's just beautiful. So it says, and then shall. Yeah, because I just want to get to the point. I, I, I want to stick to the MOTB. So it said, and then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with great power. I mean, with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up. And lift up your heads for your redemption drop nine, which is our salvation. So um, the Lord told the disciples, Matthew 24, he told the disciples, when you start seeing these signs, you know that your salvation is near and in which you believe. Habakkuk two and three said that for the for the vision is for an appointed time. And at the end, it shall speak. Ain't it speaking? We just read an article. They put in dates on the MOTB infrastructure right now. All right. So this is a beautiful time to be alive. Now. Going back to Revelation. So I just want to look up these words. We already know the scripture. So I'm going to read um, 16 through 18. And then I'm going to look up the word cause of and he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free of bond to receive a mark in their right hand on their forehand so that no man may buy. Or sell, save he that had the mark, the name of the uh, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is six hundred three score and six, which is six six six. And that's why in his infrastructure is always six. The barcode have three sixes. The World uh, um, Economic Forum. Their symbol have three sixes. Google have three sixes. So it is. So the Lord is showing you signs. You know, that's how the Lord do things. But he said, bless are your eyes for they see. Bless are your ears for they hear. So when you look up this word cause of. Because the way that he's going to cause it is that you're going to have no damn choice. So we're just going to look up the first one and it said to make. 
How is he going to make? Because he's going to cause a false flag. He's going to crash the banking system. That's why the bank is going through what it's going through right now is everything is being set up in play. So if your dollars don't have no purchasing power, gold and silver don't have no purchasing power. The only purchasing power is digital. Then he makes you. That's how he calls of you. He deceive of you because he is basically making you feel like this is the only way to go. See, a lot of people is going to be destroyed because you look at this man for everything. Now, the curse is said we have to go to him for one of all things. That's true. But see, this is a different uh, side of the spectrum right now. See, now this is where faith is supposed to kick in. This is where when this man do become a tyrannical devil and when he do cause this all right. He calls it all when he do cause this, when he do make this a law and that you cannot buy or sell without this. See, a lot of people don't consider that the Lord is the one who made food. Esau eat them, didn't make food. The Lord made water. Esau eat them. The separate clean white people, the devil that the Bible speak of, they didn't make water. All right. The Lord made water. So you got to tap into that faith. You got to tap into these scriptures. Romans 15 and four said whatsoever written a four time is written for our learning that through the scriptures, we may have hope and comfort. All right. So Elijah got fed by a raven. Moses cracked over a rock and water came out. The Lord fed us by dropping manna from heaven. The Lord fed Daniel and the lion's den and kept the lion from not touching him. So the thing is, is that you got to understand the power that you're dealing with. The Lord wants to put you in the situation to see where your faith lie. So he's going to make, let's see if there's anything else in here that's important. Let me see. Let me see. I don't see nothing really. But the point is, is that he's going to cause it, which is going to make you. Now, the ones who's going to take it is the ones who the Lord ordained to take it. His elect is not going to take it. So now I want to go to Revelation. And get the deceive of part. Now, I'm going to read uh, 20 and 21 and then get the word deceive, deceived. And the beast was taken and with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him with which he deceived them that have received the mark. See, he deceived him and them that worship his image. And though these both were cast alive into the <laughs> Salakia, these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. And that's the warheads from the missiles. And the remnant, the remnant is the ones who is alive at this time, who was destined for the missiles burning you up because it ain't talking about the remnant of the elect. It's talking about the remnant that's alive, which is Esau, Edom and the rest of the nations and two thirds of our people. And it said the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which that's Yahweh, which which sword proceeded out of his mouth. And all the fowls were filled with their flesh. So the Lord's going to have a big supper for the vultures. All right. Because it's going to be a lot of flesh on the earth. So when you get the word. So you see the judgment. If you do take this thing, fire and brimstone to your ass. And it says. um, I forgot to do the other word for calls. Five. Planao. Planao. So Planao. And it said to cause to stray, to lead astray, to lead aside from the right way. Because guess what? It's going to be so dangerous down here at this time. He's going to call so many false flags. It's going to be sedition among men. It's going to be people doing uprisings. You know, it's going to be a lot of killing. And then he's going to come forth with this solution. You know what I'm saying? And that's why he's going to deceive you because he's going to present it as this is the best thing to do. If you want the world to go back to any type of peace, 
and you want to be able to buy things again, you're going to have to take this. All right. So he's going to deceive you into taking it. And, it, and that's why it's very important to know the scriptures and have faith in the Lord, because the Lord is telling you play by play what's going to happen. All right. He's going to crash the system. He's going to cause, which means to make, and he's going to disease, deceive you, which is going to lead you astray. Lead you astray from who? The Lord. The scriptures is written for the for the Israelites. So he's causing the Israelites to go astray. The heathen don't have nothing to do with this, so they're already astray. All right? Well, he's going to cause you to go astray. He's going to make you feel like this is the only way that I can go, so I got to take it. So, and let me see what's down here. Yeah, so it'll say to go astray, deceive, seduce. See, seduce, wonder, be out of the way. So he's going to cause you to be seduced. All right? So the thing is, is that we got a date now. Let's look forward to July. April said that you could you could participate talking about people in businesses. Now, the thing is, is that, yeah, so businesses, they have an um, option to participate right now. All right. They have the option to participate right now. But it's going to be mandatory because this is the way that he can get everybody into the blockchain. And then you got to ask yourself why everybody got to be on a blockchain, because this is the technocracy world that he wants the rule of few over many by technology. All right. He wants to be able to monitor your thoughts. See, right now, he already know everything that you do because you got a cell phone. You got a smart TV. All these smart devices got cameras. All right. Then he got the big brother in the in the atmosphere he got a whole bunch of cameras you could go google your house right now and you will see a camera shot from the heaven all right so he he see everything that you do but right now he don't got your inside that technology that neural link the brain c hip all right the the i feel like the right hand you know or the left hand you know that you get to see the c hip in that's just for the purchasing power but i feel like the neural link is for, you know, the reading your thoughts and, you know, sending, sending thoughts and reading your thoughts and controlling. All right. So, but hey, man, we so close, man. We got to stay prayed up, pray for strength, ask the Lord, you know, to give you the faith because we're going to need it. So hopefully this video is edifying and shalom.